Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you this nice and delicious dense vanilla cake. If you like very thick cakes just like I do, this is the recipe for you. It's very moist, it's perfect for carving. This recipe yields enough to make, to fill a 9 by 13 pan or 3 8 inch by 1 inch pans. As always, we're going to start with all our ingredients at room temperature. We're going to start with three cups of self rising flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of whole milk. We're going to need a packet of this uh, instant pudding. This is the big one. One third cup of sour cream, half a cup of oil, five eggs, two tablespoons of vanilla, and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. In my mixing bowl, I'm adding the eggs, sugar, and vanilla extract. And I'm gonna whisk this on high speed. It usually takes around 10 minutes. We're gonna, I'm gonna mix it until it's nice and fluffy, and it has changed its color to a off white, and it has doubled in size. Don't be discouraged if you don't have one of these mixers. You could easily do it with a hand electric mixer. It will just take longer. I'm going to continue by mixing my all my dry ingredients. I'm adding the salt. The vanilla pudding mix and I'm going to mix this together and I'm going to sift this two times before I add it to my batter. Here you can see how my egg sugar mixture is starting to change in color but it's not quite ready. Right here you see that it's off, like an off color. Now at this stage and it has uh, doubled or almost tripled in size. At this stage it's ready to add the rest of the ingredients. This took about 10 minutes to get to this stage. I have a mixer in medium speed and I'm going to add my half a cup of oil and I'm going to continue to mix just for a minute or two just to incorporate the oil into the mixture. Mixing my sour cream and the milk, remember that these ingredients have to be at room temperature to get the best results. Now I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. I'm going to add the flour in thirds. So I'm adding a little bit, still using the, the whisk attachment. And just slightly uh, combining it. And incorporating the flour. Now I'm going to start again adding the second part of the flour. Mixing again on medium speed and then I'm going to add half of my milk. Very important, I'm doing this at medium speed just to quickly combine my ingredients but not, I am not over mixing. This is in real time. It's only taking me a minute to combine all my ingredients. Now I'm going to add the rest of the, the remaining flour and the remaining milk. I'm going to just quickly again Combine my ingredients and I'm going to finish off with a rubber spatula just to make sure I don't have any clumps or any like little balls of dry ingredients in my batter. Here with a rubber spatula, like I said, I'm just checking to see that there's no big pieces of dry flour in my batter and just scraping the sides and the bottom to make sure that I have all my ingredients incorporated. I greased up a 9 by 13 pan and I'm adding all my batter into, into this pan. This cake is going to bake at 350 degrees for around 25 to 30 minutes. My cake was baked at the 30 minute mark. You could always uh, check at the 25 minute mark by uh, inserting a, a wooden stick in the middle to see if it's cooked. I have another tip for you guys. This is, I always do this for my cakes. As soon as I'm, they come out of the oven and I'm able to touch the pan, I wrap them up with the clear plastic wrap. I pop it in the freezer. I don't wait for this to cool down. I just place it in my freezer. I do this a day before I'm going to decorate or fill or do anything. Uh, this helps the cake stay very, very moist. You're not going to need any simple syrup. You're not going to need anything. It's just going to be nice and moist by itself. I hope you guys give this vanilla cake recipe a try. Remember, this is a very nice, dense cake. 
that you could use to carve. This is my go-to recipe. Um, everybody in my family likes it and I hope that you guys try it. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're watching me for the first time. Until next time, thank you.